Welcome back to another episode of Eaton Vegan. I am your host, Lisa, and we are here at Tallulah's in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Asbury Park is pretty well known as uh, being a vegan community, so you'll see them often on the show. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna meet the head baker, Becca, and see what she's cooking up for us today. So we're here with head baker, Becca, and we're just gonna go over a little bit of inspiration as to how Tulis came about. Yeah, so um, the owner operators are Shanti and Steve, and they were really inspired by sourdough, um, and that is the lifeblood, definitely, of the restaurant. So our pizza is made from sourdough. We make sourdough bread for our sandwiches. Um, we do a couple non-sourdough breads, but the majority of the breads, um, we try to do sourdough. And that is kind of the foundation of everything that's built on. We also do um, house-made pickling. So again, with like the fermentation type of thing, um, being seasonal and trying to be local is also really important to us. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have any specific um, cuisine that we like to follow. Like most people think a uh, pizza place is going to be Italian, um, but that is definitely not anything that we stick to. We have like amazing hummus on the menu. Um, we make our pasta with ramen, so we try to be really creative um, and be really interesting with like flavors. Yeah, it sounds different, like a variety of things for people who want to come in and try something, you know, not just pizza, even though you're well known for that, right? We are, we yeah. are. That is that is our staple. Yeah. All right, so as far as what you'll be serving today, do you want to go over, you know, your process of how you would make that? Yeah, for sure. Today we're going to be serving our vegan Caesar, which right now we're making with romaine. We'll be go back and forth between romaine and kale, depending on the time of year. Um, our smoky tofu sandwich, uh, one of our vegan pizzas and a vegan dessert. The uh, apple galette is an apple right now. Um, everything, we try to make our own vegan food where we can, but you know, it can be tricky. So for like a vegan pizza, we do make our own uh, ricotta cheese for that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, it's actually really creamy. I was kind of surprised. I'm not like the biggest vegan cheese eater, mm -hmm. but I was really surprised how creamy it is. Um, and then where we have to source vegan foods, we try to get like the best quality. So like the mozzarella is this brand new moo. It has a really great melt, which is kind of hard to find in yeah, vegan yeah. cheese. Um, as far as the tofu sandwich, that's something we carry around and kind of change it up a little bit seasonally. So right now it has apples on it and a Dijonese. Um, we press and marinate the tofu. We you know, add some liquid smoke to give it like that extra umami kind of punch um, and a little bit of jalapeno on it. So I wanted to thank you for having us here today. I'm really excited to you know try some of those options that you've got and uh, yeah. So yeah, let's thanks do for it. coming. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. So Becca brought over some amazing options. We've got a sandwich here, salad, pizza, uh, their crab cakes, and of course dessert. So I'm gonna be a typical female and I'm gonna start with dessert because this is my show and that's what I wanna do. So we got a little bit of ice cream, some apples, crispy crust going on. If you think I need a spoon, I don't. I'm gonna eat this just like this. Okay. Automatically a happy tummy. <laughs> so this is Becca's specialty right here, if you can get a nice shot of that. Yeah. I'll be back for this again. Mm, I'm not going wrong. Did you get it in there? 
I'm gonna spoil my appetite and keep eating. But, um, you know, it's just like an apple pie, a little bit of vanilla ice cream, um, you know, caramel drizzle, nice and crunchy on the bottom, which is important. Can't pick it up. So good. This is melting in my mouth, so there's nothing better to say about that. Um, I'm gonna put this on hold for a second. We're gonna do a little taste testing of everything here. So this is the vegan Caesar salad. And um, you know, like Becca said, they typically would make it with, depending on the season, um, either a romaine or the kale. So today we got some romaine. And it looks like they put like some, you know, cabbage and stuff on here. This is a hard one for me to do even at home because, you know, that Caesar dressing is tricky when you're being vegan. Different than your typical Caesar. I got a mouthful, sorry. Um, so immediately, that's what I liked about it because it's it's different. This is not the Irish salad that I would normally taste. It's got extra flavor in it. Okay, so inspecting, there's you know a little bit of breadcrumb. We got the capers on there. That's the reason why I automatically loved it because I am a big fan of capers. Um, it gives it just this great taste. Um, creamy still, you know, like the dressing. Well, I'll say about salad. How do you literally ex explain a caper, though? I just, it's like it's flavor in its own self, so I don't know how to explain that. But um, probably the best salad I've ever had. Moving along, let's go over here. So this is the Smoky Tofu Sammy, and they don't make this with the sourdough. It's the only sandwich that they don't. So they make it with frittata, and we're gonna open it up, take a little look here. And we have a little bit of um, mustard. We got the arugula, we've got tofu, uh, apples on the bottom, if you can see. And I believe there's, uh, sorry, spicy agave. Let me get a good look here. I'm gonna take a bite out of this deliciousness. Okay. Look at that. Yum. All right, so we're gonna dig in. You ready? Mm. So, spicy and sweet, which is a girl's best friend. Um, I love arugula. It always gives that a nice flavor. The apples are definitely a good add. Oh, big boy. Give me a napkin. <laughs> like I said, a little bit of a sweet. Yeah, it's a sandwich. Soft. Bread is nice and soft. So you get a little crunch on the top, though. You can see that right there. This is definitely a go-to um, happy belly moment. I could eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> this is really good. Well, that's why I said it was a little soft on the bottom, nice crunchy on the top. But yeah, like I said, the bread on the bottom, nice and soft, crunchy on the top. Nice uh, sweetness and tangy from the mustard there. I'm losing all my, my components here on my sandwich. But that's the best way to eat it, so. All right, so somebody who doesn't typically eat tofu, um, 
This is just supposed to be a tofu sandwich. It's just, you know, like I said, marinated, nice, probably in like some soy sauce, um, uh, other flavors as well. So it's not really supposed to replace anything, but if you're a lover of tofu, which I am, of course, and I should have worn my tofu shirt today, um, this is this is the top top hit sandwich right here for tofu. All right, so this has me very intrigued. So these are the crab cakes. Um, obviously, seafood is something hard to you know replace, but uh, they make this out of heart of palm, which you know is a replacement for seafood. I lost my fork. I'm gonna come back over here. So I couldn't wait to dig into this one, to be honest. All right, uh, what do you drizzle on the top? Is that like a, um, just tartar? Okay. So we have a little bit of tartar sauce drizzled over the top, over, you know, some cabbage, a little lemon, make it exactly like how it's supposed to be for, you know, a crab cake. I wanna see if I can get the uh, inside here on film. Losing my lighting. All right, so if you can see that, perfect consistency for crab cake. Oh, do I have to hold it out? What if I drop it? <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. I'm holding. Okay, good. All right. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna dig in. Mmm. Texture's already there. This is exactly how it's supposed to be. I would never know I'm not eating seafood, which is important. You can taste the tartar sauce, you can taste you know, a little bit of a, um, like a lem lemony, lemony base type. I lost my consistency, I got a scoop, hold on. This is really, really good. Yeah, I can't do this. This is this this is what makes me upset, but at the same time I get to come here and, and eat delicious food. But I can't make this at home. I cannot do this. This is just something that you have to come down just to Lula's and try because don't come to my house. It's not happening. Hmm. That's really good. Alright, so if you you know, don't know what heart of palm is, you know. Um, basically you can open it up, smells like seafood, tastes like seafood. Um, that's why I said it's definitely a good uh, alternative replacement for seafood in itself. So it just, it just works. It works. Nobody gets this. It's, it is definitely exactly like having a crab cake. Same consistency, same texture. Same flavor, um, probably better, so don't doubt it, just try it. Flat out, that is really, really, really good. Okay. All right, this is, all right, so this is the uh, Temple Fromaggi, which is their four cheese. Um, I know they use cashews and they make the regatta cheese. Uh, we have mozzarella cheese, um, we have the Parmesan cheese and I'm not quite sure what the other cheese is. Um, but we have lots of stuff going on here, some onions. Um, just wanna dig in because it's pizza. So we're gonna go for it. And like I said, this is on the sourdough bread. That's why they're so well known for their amazing pizza because you gotta have that bread. I'm making a mess. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's pizza. Am I holding it out far enough for you? Okay. All right, let's get digging. All right, chill. <laughs> Stuck on them. So, perfect blend. Everything, obviously. You got that four cheese flavor going on. Um, I mean, it's, 
pizza. <laughs> How do you explain pizza? Pizza is so good. Um, but it's hard to do as a vegan, you know, it's hard to really like hit the nail on the head with cheeses and, and make it so different. And to do it with four cheeses is like top notch. Got some good stuff right there. You can see it's stringy too. It's not typical. What's the first taste you get? What's cheese. The first initial bite, cheese. <laughs> um, afterwards, it's still cheese, honestly. But yeah, you can taste a little bit of the olive oil. Um, you know, you, you get a little hint of the cashew, just a little bit, which is good. Um, not noticeable, but I like that taste. Um, sauce is amazing. Trying to explain, like, how, how else do you explain pizza? I mean, the regatta in itself is unique, so I really enjoy that. That's very rare to do. That bread, though. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is really, really, really good. I keep saying really, really, really good, though. It tastes very red and green, and maybe a little bit of uh, <laughs> cheese on top. Uh, what else can I add to that for as far as, uh, I mean, it's, it's just pizza is good. Oh, there is oil on it, okay. And then, yeah, and garlic. I don't know. I don't know how to ex explain pizza besides <coughs> yum, yum. All right, so I'm having a little help here, which is great. So this is not typically, you know, your your usual cooked pizza. They see so yeah, so open flame, so that you know makes that nice crust underneath. I'm sure you can see that already. I mean, I can get you another piece if you want to see, but yeah, that's good. That's where all your your taste is at, right there. All right, so I just wanted to explain that this is not your basic pizza because it's you know more of like an open flame. Um, so you can literally see the oven sitting from here. You know, it's nice and open. Give that nice char, you know, underneath texture and taste that just makes it more unique. Yeah. I, don't know. I like my pizza char. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. I love pizza. All right, so we want to do a special thanks again to Becca for letting us come down here today to Tallulah's. Um, this was an amazing selection of their variety of food that they do serve here. You know, like I said before, obviously Tallulah's is very well known for their pizza, but we have desserts, we've got salads, we've got sandwiches. I'm picking a favorite though today and I'm going with crab cakes because this is definitely um, irreplaceable. You cannot just do this anywhere. So, um, yeah, so we're going to head out, and uh, I'm just going to finish this up here, and uh, we'll see you next time on Eating Vegan. <laughs>